Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahi rahman rahim In name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Hello and welcome again to our show, Out of Focus, where we discuss many range of different topics for the youth and our generation and our society today. Welcome again. I'm very, very happy that you're, you're um, tuning in again for, um, for Out of Focus. Today, again, Unfortunately, we got a new two uh, guests, <laughs> <laughs> Nabila and Shamila. How are you today? Um, I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. What about yeah, you? I'm also good. Yeah. So today we're really excited to be talking about we're gonna um, a, a range of other different topics. So we're really excited, aren't we? Yeah. What's today's topic then? So today's topic <coughs> is beautification and culture. It is a topic where it's very um, important, isn't yeah. it? And, and it's, it's kind of like, it's really like prominent within society like, today, society today because, because, because so many girls... So many like women, obviously, their beauty is like a, a number one... Per, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't think that should be... That, that shouldn't be the case, priority. and I don't think that is the case, but then it is like, it is quite a high priority still. <laughs> For women, but I don't think it's the number one, definitely yeah. not. Yeah, but some people, some women though, do handle their beauty yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they enjoy their beautification, definitely. Yeah, they enjoy it and then they uh, care about it a lot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's very, very important to be discussed. And today we're going to be discussing like what is and isn't allowed within yeah. beautification of women. Within beautification we? and what, how we should dress how we should um, beautify ourselves and beautify ourselves within, isn't it? And how to, um, and also about culture. Yeah. yeah. Like remembering and our Islamic roots. Islamic culture. And also like religion because... And what's okay, like um, what is okay within beautification, like what's okay in our culture and, really and which is within beautification yeah. as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously, and Islam. Um, being a Muslim woman, there's a lot of things you need to do to yeah. be, you know... Muslim. Beautiful. No, 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 like modest and respectful. Yeah, modest. Yeah, yeah modest but and respectful. But be beautiful at the same time, isn't it? Because, mashallah, all our um, be, um, the Bengali Muslim sisters are very beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And then some not people... Just not just Bengali Muslim sisters. Obviously not sister. just Bengali, everyone. <laughs> but some people, um, they, they use their beautiful different ways, isn't it? And they... Yeah, I think the most important thing within beautification is just like to remain modest and to remain within the guidelines of Mus like Islam, Islam because, yeah, you are allowed to beautify yourself. It doesn't say anywhere in the Quran that you're not allowed but to. But there's a borderline, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there is a borderline. It says to what extent you are allowed. Like, you're not allowed to use like artificial, you know, like s things like wigs. Artificial products. Yeah. Uh, synth uh, synthetic. Yeah, synthetic. Fake lashes. No, you're allowed to use fake lashes. No, your artificial eyelashes are not allowed. Artificial hair is not allowed on yes, your they body. Are. <laughs> They're not exactly. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Extensions are not allowed. Wigs are not allowed. Um, like, basically things tattoos, like piercings. Yeah. Unfortunately, things that damage your body and things that aren't change your body. Yeah, change your body in ways like plastic surgery. Home. Yeah, <laughs> plastic surgery. Also, like um, what, pr prosthetics, yeah. they're not allowed. Like things, cause you're, you're not allowed it because you're kind of. There's a reason for it, isn't it? Like, um, you're changing yeah, Allah's creation. The, yeah. the, yeah, he created a body for you, created yeah. a face for you, created hair for you. Mm -hmm. um, but you're changing it. Don't yeah. change it. Yeah. That it's not beautiful. Yeah. Because obviously, different. Allah created you in His image. So, yeah. and you're kind of going against His wishes. So that's why it's not allowed. Yeah. And to be honest, I don't think you need it anyway because everybody's beautiful naturally. Exactly, I think yeah. everybody's beautiful naturally. And the thing is, like. Beautification shouldn't be your main priority. Your main priority should be your family, your education, and Islam. obviously, most importantly, Islam and Allah. Yeah, that's true. So. But like, you're not saying that obviously because most girls want to like everyone's make different. themselves look prettier. Yeah, and, everyone's you know, different. Like, yeah, obviously you can do that. Like, there's but there's like a limit to how much you like do basically. Yeah. Like with makeup, obviously, like you can wear makeup. But well, not excessive not makeup. Not you excessive are makeup. allowed makeup, you're, and you, you are don't call um, kajal. Yeah. That is um, swab. 
um, if you wear it like in the night time, you get um, swab for it. So that's, it's really good for your eye, apparently. Oh, okay. it's good for your eye. I don't know. I haven't heard about that before. I don't know, but apparently it is. So it, it's a good that you wear that, but um, obviously, yeah, you can wear makeup to, if if to feel good and look yeah. good. But yourself. But then I think the most important thing is like a lot many young girls nowadays they're doing it to impress the other gender like the opposite gender like other males like yeah. males in their school and that is a bad intention yeah. that that is not the intention that you should be wearing because it you should be wearing it for your own sake yeah, yeah like if you're wearing makeup for your or own like, self esteem yeah, yeah dressing up like it's for you to feel confident and not for like someone else to see you and go like oh she's pretty or whatever it's for yeah. you to like you know present feel yourself yeah, present yourself feel confident in a smart yeah, look way isn't it to look, look smart not look like a I don't know yeah um also I think like um when it comes to beautification there are things that is allowed so what can we go through the things that is allowed and isn't right. allowed and kind of discuss it further to like kind of explain a bit more uh, so what is allowed is um wearing c um clothes that are loose yeah. they're not tight fitting loose clothes and covering your hair is yeah. in it wearing yeah. necklaces wearing like jewelry and stuff that is allowed it's like um wearing like yeah um, jewelry yeah yeah basically like you are like what you're what you are allowed to do is you're allowed to wear anything as long as it covers loose. head yeah, to toe yeah head covers to head to toe. toe and it's loose fitting so it's not revealing your figure and also like because it's covered like, a lot of people think a hijab is wait a hijab is just a scarf, right? It's not just a scarf, it's about being modest. As long as you keep yourself covered and restricted, like kind of like restrained. Not restrained, obviously, but it's but just like, like kind of like. Not as out there. Yeah, don't don't put yourself so, like, as like, like um, something to. Cause something yeah, for something to kind of look don't, at. Think, yeah, don't you know? wear something that like, will make you stand out yeah. in the streets. No, 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 no. Stand out, like. Oh, well, no, like, proper yeah. stand out, like. Like, how do you mean stand out then? Like, that, like people would come up to you and like. Yeah, mm. basically, don't wear revealing clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not revealing. That, that show yeah. your figure. Be covered up and, like, you know. Modest, Yeah, modesty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's what you're allowed to. You are allowed to wear whatever colour. You are, like, I think a lot of girls nowadays think you can't be beautiful without showing skin, but it's so not true because there are so many women Modesty know, is like, the yeah, most beautiful Arab, yeah. thing. That's what like, I believe. Arab, Bengali, like, Pakistani, so many women I know that, they like kind of cover from head to toe. Even like, even when they're wearing niqab, they they still look beautiful. Cause yeah. You're Cause, covering cause, yourself. Cause I think the modesty kind of just like Shine, shines yeah. through, and I'm just like, oh, that's uh, that's very nice, mashallah. Yeah, Cause she's kind of keeping herself back for her husband and her father her and her brother. Yeah. So let's get on. To, uh, let's get on to that. Um, you have to cover yourself, and you're only allowed to show it to your husband. Your mehram, like your, family, your mehram includes your dad, your mother, your um, <coughs> uncles. However, you should cover yourself um, with your cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that oh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. And and um, your female, your male slaves, but of his slaves. family. <laughs> I don't think anyone in this country has male slaves. Um, <laughs> also, you are you you are allowed to show your hair in front of your women like yeah respectable like women companions no, you, can show, you can show sisters. your hair to any woman and you can show uh, uh, your, your uh, anything um, until your um knees, knees and your um yeah chest yeah yeah, oh. yeah um because <laughs> no basically the in the quran it says you're allowed to show it to any muslim sisters or um other women with pure intentions like good intentions not like basically, you're not allowed to like show it to women who are kind of like you know who are alcohol like revealing. Right? Yeah, who wear revealing clothes, kind of go clubbing, are uh, like you know alcohol alcoholics. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. forgot the word for a second there, but yeah. So oh, yeah. you need to keep yourself restricted and kind of like preserve Co yourself. Yeah, covered up. Yeah, I don't think it's too hard. It's just like you just need to kind of understand what. Like you need to understand yeah. what your boundaries are. Isn't boundaries it? Yeah. and yeah. what the like like the line is, and yeah. what are you not allowed to do then? Um, I think we already covered it, innit? We can't. Um, um oh yeah, there's another anything. like kind of like a bit more controversial thing. 
about your eyebrows. So, oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of some people, people think that it's like many allowed to like do your eyebrows, pluck them, and pluck them. Make it them done. Yeah. Some yeah. people think it's haram. And yeah, it's some people think it's but then like it's haram and it's not allowed. In the Quran, it does say you're not allowed to remove your eyebrow hair. You're allowed to do your upper lip. You're yeah. allowed to do your unibrow, like the yeah. middle and the other. Yeah, you're allowed to clean it, yeah. clean it, like just like if it's too big, if it yeah. makes, because it says in the Quran, if if you look like like, like a, um, a man, yeah. don't look at look, <laughs> not in that way. Just yeah. like if you look like a, um, if you don't look like a, you have to have that female in it. Yeah. That few, yeah. So so if you look like if it makes you look like a man, you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but then um, a lot of girls nowadays they they still like, obviously at the end of the day it's like kind of about. Um, confidence as well. Confidence as well. Yeah, a lot of women think like their opinions are that you are allowed to do, and a lot of women are allowed it's, to it's do. It's something it. like music, isn't it? Yeah. Music is very controversial. People say it's haram, and people say it's, other people say it's not haram. And TV as well. People say it's haram. Do they? Yeah. Apparently, TV is haram as well. Oh. I think. <laughs> I think it depends on what you, stuff, yeah. what you watch. What you as watch. like as long as like educational or it's not harmful to you. Yeah, if it's like if you're watching something bad. Yeah, because obviously, obviously there are quite a lot of kind of bad. controversial things that show on TV nowadays, even in like movies and even in children. Like yeah. I used to watch like children shows that you know included like boyfriend girlfriend relationships from like oh, like teenagers Disney getting Channel. into relationships. Disney yeah, Channel. Disney <laughs> yeah. Channel. Yeah, it's supposed to be like an innocent thing. Like, but it's like it shows some bad things as well, isn't it? Yeah, it teaches children wrong things. Like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't, just don't get influenced by that. And another thing about like, um, another thing about like, you know, where it says like loose clothes and everything. Do you think, what do you think that includes? Like, are you allowed to wear like... I think you're allowed to wear jeans. I'm sorry, but I think you're, uh, your opinion, <laughs> it's your opinion, isn't it? But I think you're allowed to wear jeans as long as not, as long as not tight, basically. Yeah, you can just wear like boot cut, jeans. boot cut jeans or just, or like just normal jeans. When you wear jeans, wear like a longer top, or looser top to cover your bum and all. So your figure like basically that. doesn't show out of it. Yeah. I think it's all right. Like anything's all right. But to, to be honest, jeans is like just one of the, those things. I think we're all guilty at some point ha of yeah, having worn jeans. I did wear jeans. Yeah. Yeah. So it is like I think you are allowed to wear it as long as you know how to kind of like make it as like just like try to make it as modest as you can like because obviously when we wear it we wear it with like long cardigans that cover our yeah thing and just wear, wear it loosely you know not mm. so you're with our figure and everything showing so um so that's like that topic out of the way i always wondered um about our f that the you know Culture. fashion yeah how we are getting influenced by it, fashion, like the latest yeah. trend, yeah, that's true. What the latest trend is and stuff, and isn't it? Like I find, I find it hard, per, hard personally, and like uh, I think a lot of uh, Muslim girls find it hard as well, like to yeah. um, not like follow cause, like, the latest yeah. trends. Because like if you live somewhere where everyone's doing it, yeah. Because we live in like East London, so and there's like a lot of girls, like and there's like a lot of different like races and. Like, mashallah, it's very, very, very diverse. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. There's yeah. a lot of Muslims, but mashallah, which is very yeah. good. Yeah, and not, but, but, but to be honest, in my school, we don't really have that oh, many Muslims. All right, then. Yeah, but then, like, in our school, there's so many girls that follow, like, trends. Like, at one point, there was, like, a crop top trend. There was, like, shorts yeah. trend. There's, like, so the so jeans with the knee cuts. Yeah, sure, yeah with like, there's holes in the seen, jeans. Yeah, yeah. and it's just, like... It's not really necessary to be honest. Yeah, like, so and girls think we do want to follow it. We like yeah. we just want to feel like we're part of something. Like, yeah, oh, wearing definitely. that makes you look pretty, but like yeah, it but doesn't. Then it's very hard for us to um, not get tempted, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. just we have to remember uh, it's for Allah's sake. So they might look good now. They might look um, follow the trend and stuff. But at the end of the day, we're gonna get the swab for not doing it. We're mm. gonna get reward for it and then yeah. go jannah, inshallah. Because, like, a lot of the girls, they think that they need to wear it to, like, fit in, kind of be a part of, you know... Um, Islam. Uh, no, no, not no, Islam. No. <laughs> be a part of a community. And a lot of girls, um, like, sorry to say, like, you know, they are kind of falling into, like, the peer pressure almost. And that's shaitan, isn't it? Yeah, that's shaitan, shaitan whispering, whispering in your ear. Yeah, yeah. Saying They're that. They're falling into the peer pressure and they are kind of, like, starting to wear revealing clothes like a, yeah. a crop top is basically like a 
belly drop top. that kind of like cut off just beneath your chest. So it's like your entire belly is exposed. And shorts, obviously, you guys will know it's like short, tra like jeans. I think people with your will legs. Know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, um. So it's just like it's just not necessary. It's not needed. You don't need to wear that to be beautiful. You don't, you don't like need to show, show skin, skin yeah. to, to be, be beautiful. beautiful. Modest, modesty is the most beautiful thing. Yeah. That that you, but the, the, the fact that you cover yourself, the yeah. fact that Not you only show your husband, only one man sees your um, everything. <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> that's like the most beautiful thing, I think. Isn't yeah. it? it's, it's very nice. And like also, a lot of girls nowadays, they're kind of just like, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of girls are just like, um, they kind of... What do they do? Um, <laughs> a lot of girls, they... Um, like like I said, follow trends, but it's like, um, it's they kind of think that it's okay because no, a lot of the excuses that my friends they give me is like, oh, we're modernized Muslims, but there isn't a such thing as modernized Muslims. They say, oh, we're allowed to do this because it's the modern era. Nowadays, everybody's That's doing it. So it's, okay. it's not an excuse. That's not an oh, excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, we should. What, what were you gonna say? No, we we just, just don't. We should follow. Don't, like, don't we should follow what it says in the Quran yeah. exactly. Like, there's follow no exactly excuse. what it says. Yeah. Follow the Sunnah and just don't in make excuses. Like in like. in the in on Judgment Day, Allah's not gonna take your excuses. He's not gonna see your excuses. He's gonna treat. He's gonna see everybody as equal. It's like when you do something wrong and you make an excuse saying, "Oh, it's his fault and stuff." Like in Judgment Day, that's not gonna happen. You can't blame anyone except yourself because you are the one that listened to shaitan you were not that did the wrong action so you're the one that's gonna get punished for it so yeah. just make sure you remember that yeah so like basically i think the most important thing is just to like kind of remain modest remember keep in, like keep allah at the back of your head all the time and also like I think Always because think yeah him. because of all of these like different trends and like the fashion kind of things, girls are becoming more and more like narcissistic and kind of just yeah. like more and they get misguided self involved yeah no, and like self involved doesn't um, like they're kind of they, putting no. so much of their effort into looks. effort into their appearance rather than kind of putting it into like something that's more important such as maybe like education, education or like or Islam Allah or praying, yeah reading the Quran it, yeah. maybe praying a lot of girls. They yeah. care about uh, their looks a lot. They care about the looks a lot. Yeah. Look yeah. yeah, I think beautification should be like one of your. It is important, least, isn't it? Like, it yeah. worrying yeah. issues. Yeah. But it's, it's well, important like, though. It's, it's like important. The media girls, kind like, of definitely. affects as well because yeah, like, the media they put affects out us so a lot. many like pictures of like these perfect girls. Yeah. They're looking so pretty and they're wearing such revealing clothes. And, and with the perfect like, it's all figure. Photoshop. It's all Photoshop. Yeah, it's all Photoshop. It's not even just that, like. To be honest, like no girl sh like will probably ever look like that because yeah. it's just like even perfect. the girls in the models they don't look like that because it's completely photoshopped. You and know? fake and obviously like it's and no then the girls these days like insecure. they look at like that girl like oh Isn't my gosh it? I need to look like that I need to be all pretty like that but then you really don't because obviously like the most important thing is to be like covered up and being modest and like yeah. if you like because the model in her in the picture is showing her all her, of her skin and stuff but at then, the end of the day like, she's usually. gonna suffer in hell. Yeah. <laughs> so you just yeah. need to note that. <laughs> oh, that was a bit rough, but yeah. yeah. And but it's, it's, it's truth, in it? It's the truth. It's the truth. That's what, that's what's going on. And happen. it's kind of like culture as well, isn't it? Like pop culture, because yeah, because we're Bengali, we're Bengali yeah. Muslims. We don't, we don't wear crop tops to and follow, stuff. We don't wear yeah. shorts. Because that's like the like the um the trend around. We this wear like shalwar kameez. <laughs> yeah, when you go out, just like follow your culture and not trying to look like. What were you going to say about the trend around this area? Oh, because, yeah, the um, people around this area, obviously, because there's a lot of white people, there's a lot of, like, non-Muslims, basically, non-Muslims. Yeah, because our area, because we live in East London, it's really, like, Asians, multicultural, so there's Asian so people. many, like, heavy different Asian races people. out here, yeah. And they all wear, like, w especially because, like, summer now, there's, they're, like, when you walk down the street, you see so many people just wearing, like, practically a bra and, like, a little skirt yeah. walking out. And it's just like... I like summer. No. I think... But you know, summer is yeah, really, really hard to wear a scarf in summer. It's I'm really not going to lie. It's for very difficult. Because obviously it gets but hot. You yeah. It gets very hot. But and like, you feel tempted to take it off. But, but no. just, you get swab yeah, for... You get swab for um, keeping it on. Just for Allah's sake, you get more swab. So if it's... it's you know, it's, so you're suffering. You but know, you're doing still the following thing, the And you're still... Uh, yeah. Allah. So uh, you know? inshallah, we'll all get rewarded for wearing a scarf in the... 
um, summer. Judgment day. But but now that it is summer, we can start wearing um like light clothes, yeah. not black clothes all the time because obviously you get more hot if you wear black. Yeah, yeah. So you can well, like, wear different colours. We can make our... Um, you should still yeah. remain modest by, you know, not wearing tight clothes, but there are like materials like chiffon you can get, which is really, really light. So it's like this kind of material. There's like cotton as well, like light dresses, like long yeah. dresses. So that kind you of, don't like, feel hot, yeah, but like you remain dresses. modest at the same yeah. time. You can cover yourself. You get like full sleeve maxi dresses, which are yeah. like really light on the skin. But then so they're still not still feel tight. Cold. Not cold, so it's like kind of like airy and mm. still feel, you still feel yeah. kind of. I'm really excited you know. about summer. Are, are you? Yeah, I hate when it was raining all the time. Yeah. We were also supposed to discuss culture. So uh, so we've only got a really short time left. So um, let's um, summarize so what we were going to say. Left, so. Our culture. Yeah. So um, our Bengali culture. Not just Bengali culture, like, I think throughout all these trends and everything that we have, we need to stay, stay like, true to our culture and our roots and where we come from because I think it's really important to kind of, like, remember your traditional clothes, your traditions in general. Shari. Yeah, and kind of... So then, like, your parents are proud of you, you're happy with yourself. And your and looks. Tired, and, like, yeah. your roots aren't forgotten, you know? If, yeah. if everybody, like, you know, became modernised and kind of, like... Mm, like yeah. kind of westernized. It'd be kind of really plain yeah. and boring. We wouldn't have the diversity that we have so today, true. you know. That is so in East true. London, you could everywhere you walk, you can find Chinese restaurants, Indian restaurants. It's so mixed, like, isn't it? Yeah, it's there's so diverse. such a mix of like different cultures. And if you if you forget then, if you forget your roots and kind of become so westernized, you lose yeah out that everything. diversity. You lose out, yeah. You lose out on our beautiful Bengali culture yeah. that we have. And kind so of please, please do your remember, your yeah. sense of like Islam kind of. Islam and Bengali well. culture, yeah. we should remember Because that. in Bengali culture, like, your religion is very, very important, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. A so. lot of, like, basically most of Bangladesh is uh, Muslims, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there are only there some are Hindus few, yeah, and there some are Christians, like Hindus but everything. majority are Muslims, so, obviously. And uh, you can wear shalwar kameez as well, like, yeah. when you go yeah, home, so like, covered up, like... Because it covers all. everything, you can pray with it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's good, isn't it? So, unfortunately, that is it for today. And I'm so sorry, guys, time's up. Um, so, um, yeah, we were really, we were really, really happy to be yeah. here. I think this was quite an important subject this to is have very discussed. So because I hope, it kind of, yeah. it kind of, like, it's it relevant to yeah, young it's relevant Muslim girls, to it? it? relates to them. Almost all young Muslim girls, doesn't yeah. it? So I think it was very good that we did get to discuss this topic. And, mm. yeah, it's definitely... I hope you do learn some problems. of what we discussed today. And remember, you can... Um, it's Always take show. note of uh, what, what we say and yeah, what we say we and about. like use it in your life. Yeah, and remember what we said and stuff. And it's not just what we said. Like what what we're talking about is what is acceptable in the Quran and in Islam. So take this as like an Islamic show and what is acceptable, and what isn't ex acceptable in Islam, and kind of just like manipulate in a way to fit your lifestyle. Because don't don't like kind of change Islam to fit your lifestyle instead try to change yourself to fit Islam because I think because yeah. at the end of the day you're gonna be judged yeah. on if you whether you followed Islam or not then like you know yeah. In, yeah. on judgment. All the things day, so you did isn't it? Yeah. I think that's that is really, really true. Okay, so yeah. Have you got anything left to say? Um Beautification no. culture? <laughs> Right, I think she summarised all yeah, of it, isn't it? Yeah, she summarised it. Yeah. So just yeah, it's really, it's a really important subject. Yeah. So that is it for today. I'm really, really, really happy that you tuned in to watch Out of Focus. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Help you all make sure you pray and stuff. Oh my gosh, Amina, you don't even talk, what the hell? Why are you, why are you, why are you complaining about me? Can I see the key to the day? What's your color? Thanks, Diva. Doctor, thanks, Diva. Thanks, Diva. They will know now we are going to finish. Oh, now we're going to... Oh, thanks, Bossina. Thanks, Diva. Thanks, Bossina. Thanks, Diva. 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 Thanks,
Yeah, dress change. Oh, we're gonna wear. 